All right, everyone, we're taking a look at some fighting games now in my new series, Round One. And the first game I'm going to look at is Mortal Kombat, which is technically Mortal Kombat 9. It was uh, released in 2011 and is a remake retelling of the first three Mortal Kombat games. Mortal Kombat being my all-time favorite game. Uh, well, more specifically, Mortal Kombat 2. So Mortal Kombat 9 is like one of the only fighting games that I ever get really competitive at and is easily in my opinion the best fighting game just it's so tight it looks amazing the characters are great and it was so innovative with its story mode that it just every fighting game should be emulating that so uh, my go-to character for competitive play is smoke um, I am just kind of playing through the challenge, or not the challenge ladder, but just the regular like single player ladder on hard. Um, and I am playing on PC with the Xbox 360 controller, which is the worst fucking controller to play a Mortal Kombat game with. Play any kind of fighting game with. That D-pad, if you're a D-pad player on a fighting game, which if you're not, what are you doing? Um, the, the 360 controller is by far the worst. I uh, was trying to use my PS3 controller, but I installed the thing that allows you to run a PS3 controller on your PC, and it ruined everything, and my mouse stopped working, and it was just a whole big howdy-do. So I decided to just stick with the Xbox 360 controller and just suck because of it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be playing this smoke here, and then every time I uh, lose, I'll pick a new character and kind of see the characters I get to. Oh yeah, love hitting them with that x-ray. Yeah, I mean, my history with fighting games is uh, Mortal Kombat 2 was a game... See, this is what's wrong with the 360 controller. I'm trying to hit back, back, down, forward, and somehow the D-pad is registering that I'm hitting up. Like, it's just so imprecise and that's why the ps3 controller is far superior for fighting games but um yeah so my history with uh fighting games is basically my, the first console i ever owned was a sega sega genesis and um i me and my friends were really into the original mortal kombat games actually no this goes back even before that um when i lived when my when I was probably like seven, there was a um, place in my hometown called the Peanut Gallery, and it was around the time that the PlayStation was coming out because they had one you can go there and rent and play it. Well, there they had a Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet, so that was my introduction to it on an actual arcade. Before then, I was playing it on Sega Genesis, and um, I eventually got my hands on Mortal Kombat 2 for Sega, and man, Noob Saiba is just destroying me. Noob Saiba is easily the character that pisses me off the most, like playing online and stuff like that. Just His moves are so hard to see and predict, and he's able to counter almost anything. It's like him and Ermac are the two I just can't stand to face online. Um, yeah, so I had Mortal Kombat 2 on Sega, and... Um, just played it all the time and even though I was I'm not like super great at fighting games and that's something you'll notice throughout this series but I to me the purest form of competition in video games is a fighting game and Mortal Kombat 9 in particular is the one that I've never played a fighting game that felt as great as this one does and since I am a huge Mortal Kombat fan I love the characters and they just translated them into this version so well and it's just the best fighting game out there. But yeah, Mortal Kombat 2 is one I played every day. Even if, even though I was like losing constantly, I was still playing Mortal Kombat 2 and trying out all the different characters. My favorite character on that game uh, being Reptile or Johnny Cage. Those are the, my two go-tos. Which man, everybody seems to shit on Johnny Cage. I always love Johnny Cage in every Mortal Kombat game. He's like my favorite one to play as. So. Oh man, fucking noob is just fucking pushing me to the wall. If I had a fucking PlayStation 3 controller, this would be so much easier. Um, and I do just want to apologize in advance. Um, there's going to be some slowdown, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, my PC, it's it was great like five years ago, but nowadays it's not. It's way behind, and um, 
I haven't I don't have the money to upgrade right now so there's definitely gonna be some slowdown because the recording of this PC game with the, how fast moving it is really uh, tends to use a lot of processing power in the end and slow everything down so well I got my ass kicked by noob so we're gonna have to pick a new character here see if we can take him down all right so who are the characters that I really Sub -Zero. like using um ooh character I feel is a little underrated. I don't see a lot of people talk about. I love Cyber Sub-Zero. He's one of my favorite characters to play as for some reason. I just He has such a sneaky move set. It's so much fun. Alright, yeah, that, that kick in particular is definitely something that I will be using a lot. Whoa. Uh, for a while I had a... Um, PlayStation 3 that I bought from a friend and he brought it to me at our work and in our break room we had a giant uh, like 70 inch TV so um, I took it and hooked it up in there for me and my friends and we downloaded the digital version of Mortal Kombat that I had and uh, me and a couple of friends of mine that I work with huge Mortal Kombat fans and we would just go tear each other up on our lunch breaks and it was incredible so I've been getting a little bit of practice with this game. I still I haven't mostly just used smoke because, as I said, it's my go-to competitive character. But definitely been trying to branch out and relearn all my characters. Okay. All right. And I feel like I'm able to hold them off a little easier with Cyber Sub Zero. Alright, I'm, I'm managing. I'm willing to trade around if I have to, but... Ugh. The challenge tower in this game is something that's a lot of fun and uh, definitely tests you in a lot of different ways. Um, I haven't finished it. I think the last one is like you have to beat like three Shao Kahn or something like that. Definitely want to look up his fatality because I don't... The only character who's like fatalities and stuff I have memorized is Smoke. Uh, let's try one of these. This is not one of my favorite fatalities in the game, but some of the I love do love how he like fringes like that. Uh, some of the fatalities in this game are just so fucking intense. Like Noob Cybot in particular, where they just rip somebody in half by the legs is one of my favorites. Oh, Kung Lao, you piece of shit. Kung Lao is another guy who's uh, for one, he's one of my favorite characters to play as, but two, he's just a beast online. So he's probably gonna kick my ass here. Ugh. Playing on hearts is going to be probably pretty unforgiving. Ugh, I love that kick that Sub Zero does. Just a little. I love any kind of like a little flippy kick that some of these characters have. Johnny Cage has uh, some really good kicks. I keep forgetting I have the ice slide. Man, it's just. Characters like Cyrax and Cyber Sub Zero, who have these like teleports and stuff like that, I really just need my fucking PS3 controller to be a little more precise because I gotta be able to do the teleport and get over there and hit my moves in time. It's this 360 controller just it's it escapes me. Like when this game, so this game came out on during that whole PSN hack that was like super bad and the online was totally devastated so I had pre-ordered and bought the game on PlayStation and then I got it home and PSN was down for like a month and uh, so I ended up buying the Xbox 360 version just so I could play the online with like my friend Yeah, I think I've. And then I even own the Vita version and the PC version. I think I own this game in every possible form you can own it. Should have got the collector's edition though, so I can get those stupid Scorpion and Sub Zero bookends. Probably find those somewhere on eBay or Amazon or something though. No, I'm not doing so hot. I'm just kind of all over the place. I just need one round. That's all I ask. I don't care how cheap I have to get it. 
I mean, that's the problem with Mortal Kombat is there's just everything just becomes so cheap eventually. All right, so we're gonna be trading some rounds here. Like in the long-standing tradition of Mortal Kombat bosses, trying to beat Shao Kahn at the end of the game, like head on, you can do it, and I, I can do it on, uh, like probably like medium or hard. I don't know, maybe not hard at the moment, but like if I pick smoke, I can go head on with him. But otherwise, it's like you got to stand across the arena and just fucking launch projectiles the whole time. Oh, they added this like cheap flashing move so like if you hit him he flashes and he doesn't take any damage and he's able to just shake it off and hit you right back and then you lose like a quarter health so all right he is just r systematically ripping me apart this time no oh, well, i guess i should probably start thinking about who i want to use next and they never pull off their finishers Kung Lao, he he got me. But he's a great character, so so now who am I gonna pick? Let's pick one of the ladies. Could go for Katana. She's my go-to lady. No. The Scorpion. I feel like you gotta get the obligatory Scorpion in. It's a Mortal Kombat game. You gotta show some form of Scorpion. It's Sub Zero. Oh man, no time wasted. Scorpion, like, so playing online, Scorpion is, like, the go-to character, especially for, like, beginner players. So it gets to the point where if somebody picks Scorpion, you're pretty confident. If you're, like, a pretty competitive player, you're pretty confident that you'll be able to take him down. Um, at least that was my experience on PlayStation. I mean, obviously, there's going to be the players that are fucking amazing with Scorpion, but uh, my experience mostly was like, oh, it's Scorpion. I know how to defend all of these moves because everybody is going to be using them. Man, he is just I'm not doing too good here. I'm getting distracted. Alright. I can't remember any of his combos. That's the problem. I remember his kicking one, but that's about it. Man, I was definitely holding the block button there and he still hit me. Man, this is... Savage. That's all I gotta say. That stupid fucking teleport. Everybody's got one. That was one thing with this problem, or one complaint I had about this game is that everybody has a teleport. But at least I can hit him with that. Crack his rib cage. Yeah, it's kind of the only combo I got with him right now. Yeah. Ugh, this is not looking too good. It's coming down. No, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, so now who? Now I'll pick a lady. Alright, what lady will stand up to Kung Lao? Um, I'll go Sonya. I like Sonya. Sonya was one of like the last characters I got around to like learning, but one I probably had the most fun with. I like, don't remember any of her combos. I definitely remember some of her special moves. So. I don't know any of the tricks with like every character. There's like tricks when you use them, and Smoke is the only one because he's my go-to. Like if I'm feeling out a new player, I always pick my best, so I go Smoke. You know, unless I'm feeling a little frisky, I might pick like Katana or Sub Zero or something like that, but. If I'm serious, I go smoke. So he's he's the character I kind of know a lot of the tricks with. Like, hit him with that smoke ball that throws him up in the air. Jump, hit him with a punch, and on the way down, hit him with your teleport. Like, stuff like that. But none of the other characters do I really have that kind of repertoire with. Sona's definitely a more technical fighter, and that seems to be working out for me. Oh, man. I love her x-ray and I really want to hit it. She's got probably my favorite one in the whole game. Alright, got around. Round two, motherfucker. As far as I haven't had much slowdown going on here.
Well, now that I say that, it's starting to slow down a little bit. I've been recording for a while, so my computer's probably getting pretty warm. Ooh, I don't even know what happened there. That was pretty good, though. Oh, I think I might actually have him on this one. I have a lot of health left. Oh. Damn it. Alright. Let's look up a fatality. Do, do, do. Yeah, that seems easy enough. Oh, no. Didn't want to jump. Um. Uh, no. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Stupid controller. Man, her... She is so exaggerated there. I think you know what I mean. Round one. Five. What's going on with you guys in another realm? You sickos. Baraka's a huge piece of shit, so... Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Easily my... I keep saying, I feel like I'm saying this about every character. My least favorite character to face. Nobody seems to use Baraka online, though. I never ran into a lot of Barakas, but... Oh god, the computer sure knows how to use them. Alright, come on. Oh, I keep forgetting about the breaker. Those little... You can do those enhanced versions of the moves down there at the bottom. Like, if you do the move and pull the trigger, like the special move. Oh man, he just fucking ripped me apart. Alright, this will probably be my last round here. I think I've played enough Mortal Kombat. But, oh man, oh yeah, that's slowing down all of a sudden. Maybe it's a good time to call it quits. Oh no. Sorry for your lessened viewer experience, but I'm definitely gonna get crushed here, so. Oh, this is gross. I'm embarrassed for my computer. I need to get some money and get an upgrade. But just moved into an apartment, so not enough money for that right now. So yeah, so this is probably going to be the end of round one here pretty soon. And I mean round one of the series, not round one of the fight. But uh, going to be looking at some more fighting games coming up. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.